hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you how i made this beautiful sticker dress so let's get started guys Uh, leftover and scrap fabrics this is from a booboo that I made and this is from a mono strap dress which I made so I use all these leftover fabrics because I haven't tried this before this is my first trial so I didn't want to risk using a new fabric in case it goes wrong I folded my fabric into four and also masked the length the length is 33 that is how short I want the, the sheet dress to be it's going to be a boxy dress so there is no waistline like we're not cinching any waist or anything we're just making a straight stuff i've marked my length i'm just going to go ahead to mark my um my shoulder so this is a cut together sleeve dress and i am going to be working with um the shoulder length of 15 inches so you just mark from your nip down to how long you want your sleeve to be. So I'm marking 15 inches. Next, I am going to mark my neck width and my neck depth. So the neck width I'm using is three inches and the neck depth for the back is going to be 1.5. Then for the front, I am going to mark 7.5 inches. I want it to be a V-neck uh, dress. I am just going to connect. I'm just going to go ahead to connect the points. I've connected this point and I've connected the point and I'm going to use my straight ruler to connect the front neck point as so the line is not straight my fabric is a duchess fabric and it's really shifting that was why I had to pin the top part to mark this I'm going to come down one inch from my shoulder slip and connect to the neck point We all know that our shoulder isn't straight, so the shoulder stoop is necessary. I've connected the shoulder stoop, then I'm going to mark my armhole depth. The armhole depth is going to be 9 inches. Then I'm just going to make a straight line this way. So all here now is going to be a waist. I'm going to cut it off. So for this dress, we do not need our waist length measurement or waist circumference measurement. Hip length because I need it as a guide to get the width of my dress. So my hip circumference is 39. Quarter of my hip is going to be 9.75. And I'm going to add 2 inches to that measurement, which is going to give me 12 inches. So this is 12 inches. I'm just going to make a straight line to this point. And also to the length of the dress. So guys, this is how it's looking. We do not want this area to be really sharp. So I'm just going to make a curve, like curve it inwards. So this is all for our dress and I'm going to cut it out. I've cut it out and this is how it's looking. Now I'm going to cut the neckline. I'll cut the back neckline first. And I'll cut the shoulder line. I'll just remove this pin that I have here. So I've cut the neckline and the shoulder slope i'm going to remove all this back now so i'll remove the back and i'm going to cut the front
So this is how the front is looking. To go ahead to align it to get the center line, how I'm going to centralize my, my sticker. So guys, as you can see, I have ironed my fabric. The purpose of that line over there is to centralize my sticker. That is serving as a guide so that my sticker can be straight because you will not want your sticker bent. If it's bent, it's going to alter your outfit. You will not like the look afterwards. So that's my sticker and i'm just coming down two inches from the neckline that is how i want it i want it really positioned well so i'm trying to make sure that everything is centralized and laying flat and smoothly So after I had centralized my sticker, I went ahead to get a baking paper. I didn't have a Teflon sheet, so that was why I had to make do with what I had available. The baking paper actually helped me in, in making sure that my sticker didn't move because as you can see, it's transparent. I could see how the sticker was laid and all. So I just had to go ahead to iron it so i was scared at first because i didn't know what temperature to put my iron on if it's a low heat medium or a high heat i first started with a low heat and i checked how far it was it was and afterwards i started pressing it down I kept on pressing my sticker on a low heat but it didn't seem to be sticking I got tired I decided to switch to using an A4 paper and after I brought that A4 paper <laughs> I increased the heat to a medium heat and later on to a high heat and I got different results So I increased it to the highest and later reduced it to a minimum heat. So I was just uh, moving the iron back and forth, up and down and I now decided to check how far I had gone and it was actually moving up until this part where i found out that the place i had increased the heat the paper had stuck to the nylon and as well as my fabric but i was i was happy that my fabric didn't tear but the nylon tore so i just had to stick with um, medium heat for a moment so the parts that got burnt had shrunk so i had to use my iron to uh, straighten it to see if i could straighten it out so guys this is how my sticker is looking as you can see the ink from my paper had stained the sticker so i would advise if you're using an a4 paper please use a clean A4 paper, an A4 without any write-up so that it doesn't um, stain your nylon because if you look closely to the right the paper also like the ink also stained my fabric so please use a clean A4 paper so after ironing I had to let it rest for a little while then I said that uh, removing the sticker so it was going smoothly it was really going smoothly
it was going smoothly and beautiful until we got to the neck area so that neck area i discovered that it uh, hadn't stuck to my fabric yet like i tried but no waste so i decided to increase the heat of my iron so i increased it to the highest heat and guys that was a very big mistake so i increased the heat and placed the iron on it i wasn't taking it back and forth anymore i just left it there like that so guys I increased it to the highest heat and it shrunk my sticker so then we just have to always reduce the heat so I put it on the medium heat so those points now I don't know you just have to wait and see what comes out of it This is the effect of applying too much heat on the sticker. It went out with it. So you can see how it is. I'm here in the room. I'll just get my fabric now to see how we could design this beauty. So guys, this is my scrap fabric with which I joined. I told you it was a scrap. So which I joined and I joined here to form this bowl. So what I measured was the six inches long and 26 inches wide so that's what gave me this so as you can see what i have here is 17.5 and the length is 12.5 so I, i've made a small strap that i'll use to cover up this area when i had to gather my bowl and this is how it's looking i would use this to tie it up use this strip to tighten this up so guys i've tied it up and just trying to make sure that both edges are aligned that one side is not um, longer or shorter than the other side I've gone ahead to arrange my bow and this is how it's looking next for my neck piece initially I just wanted to reveal this beaded area and it's real down it too Right up. So I, I made three layers and I've gathered all of them up and their measurements are 30 by 7. The last layer I made it 5 inches. So I'm going to put the first layer now. I'll just gather it up to how I want it. So, so I really need to cover this neck part. I'm going to pin it down now. So I've pinned down the first layer. I'm going to put the second layer. I'm going to spread it out because it needs to be wider than me. Because it needs to be wider than the first layer. So this is how it's looking. I'm still going to pin it down. So I'm just spreading the gathers round so that it's even last layer so guys i've pinned them down i'll just go ahead and stitch them at this point so that they can lay flat and also the layering this is how it's looking so trying to cover up this part so yeah this is how pretty it's looking so guys this is how my um 
dress is looking so far and for the ear side i just cut this yellow part of the anchor and i'm just going to be placing it this way so i'll attach i'll attach an interface into it to give it a little bit of strength before i place it so i'll just do this and it's looking really pretty so i'll cut for this other side as well then tuck it down i'll just go ahead now to um, attach my facing to the neckline and the back neckline so guys this is how it's looking i have sewn the neckline what's left is the shoulder and the side so i'm just going to sew that and we are done guys i am going to show you the final look i really love how this came out yes especially the earrings you can see how the earrings are very nice nicely laid so this is the final look guys i know the dress is given so please guys like share and subscribe to my channel is a way of supporting the brand thank you guys and see you in my next video